Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at expanding brackets. Expanding brackets are, are really common in algebra because we always have to deal with brackets in quite a lot of equa equations. So to understand how we expand brackets, I've just got a really simple uh, example here where I'm just using numbers. And this is 3 times 4 plus 1. You might see where I'm going with this. 3 times 4 is going to be 12 and 3 times 1 is plus 3. 12 plus 3 is 15, which would expect by 3 times 5. Now what I'm showing you there is that to uh, multiply a bracket by something, you have to multiply everything in the bracket by everything outside. So the 4 and the 1 are both inside the bracket and they both have to be multiplied by the 3. And that's what we do here, and that's how we get 12 plus 3, which is 15. For an algebraic example, where I'm using algebra and letters to make it a little bit more complicated, well, I just multiply everything inside the bracket and by everything outside the bracket. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 3b is 6bx. And that's the final answer. Okay. Now, I've also got an example of expanding double brackets. This is where there's two sets of brackets. And I have to multiply everything in the first bracket by multiplying uh, by everything in the second bracket. And I do this like this. I start with the x times x, which is x squared. And I do the x times minus 3, which is minus 3x. 2 times x is 2x, 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. Remember this is a positive times a negative, which is a negative number. Now, when I'm doing this, I always remember that my arrows look like a crab's claw. So when I'm multiplying everything in the first bracket by everything in the second bracket, it will make a pattern like a crab's claw. And that's something you have to remember. Now, the minus 3x and the plus 2x can simplify. Minus 3x plus 2x is minus 1x, which we just write as minus x. Now I have another example here, and just watch as the animation plays out. Okay, that's all the examples from today's video. Now it's t time for you to try it yourself. There's six uh, examples on the board for you to try. Um, the first three are just single brackets, the last three are double brackets. Good luck. Remember uh, to look out for your negative numbers. Pause the video now and see how well you do. I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. How did you do? Please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching today's video from Advanced Maths. We have plenty more videos to help with GCSE, IB and A-level maths. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos. And if you have any ideas for future videos, uh, then please let us know in the comments. Have a great day and good luck in your exams.